Vamos perdidos. Perdidos, perdidos, perdidos. Deixa o cadê? So when are you gonna get the grill? I have it, I just have it. I need the bottom one though. Te digo que ahí se vería perro el intercooler o algo. Para abajo. Mmm. Mmm. When are you gonna get the bottom one? I'm on probation. Oh, fuck. I'm on probation, bro. Police find me. Shoot. Pinche carro de vieja, mira. Ya sé, pinche carro pajoto. También esa ropa de ahí. No, it's a bomb, bro. Action. <laughs> Alright, so what's up, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Before I start this video off, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. I think right now we're at like 440. Um, next goal is 500. From there, 1,000. Well, anyways, I just uh, thought I'd make this short little video. Uh, today, we're going to replace the PCV valve on my Acura TSX. The reason for that is... The turbo giving out. The turbo's giving out. Not as fine. I noticed that last time that I changed my oil, I was missing about a quart. Um, so I think my PCV valve is clogged up or just not working. All right, so one of the symptoms that your PCV valve is bad or needs to be replaced is if you have a poor fuel economy. Uh, it could be your PCV valve or your PCV valve hose. So I'd recommend you to check that. All right, also, if your PCV valve is going bad, it may cause excessive oil consumption. So. Just, I'd recommend you to check your oil every like two weeks, see if it's going now. Um, and if it is, I'd recommend you to replace your PCV valve. Uh, that's like one of the cheapest options there is. Or just get a new car. Or just get a new car. Also, if you have a bad PCV valve, sometimes not always a check engine light comes on. Um, all you gotta do is just check the code and then if it says PCV valve, just go ahead and replace, it's not too expensive. Let me show you guys what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. Uh, this is OEM, got it from the Acura dealership. Actually, the Honda dealership. For around 30 bucks don't forget to also get a washer for it you don't want to use the old one and when you shake it you should hear a little rattle yep, heard about that too. i don't know if you guys can hear that on camera here's the part number if you guys are interested and this is for a 04 to 08 acura tsx you can also get at like at your local parts store but I did some research and I guess they're not uh, as a, as a good quality as these ones right here because I heard that as they were torquing down it like snap so I didn't want to deal with that so I just went to the dealership and got one of these 30 bucks not too bad yeah so in my case I have oil consumption hopefully this fixes the issue so let me show you guys where it's located this hose right here right on top of your alternator this is where your PCV valve is I don't know if you guys can see it's kind of dirty it's gonna be this one right here. I'll show you guys in a bit. Porque el mencho, nah, I'm gonna say. All right, guys. So here are the tools you guys will need. Um, pretty simple to do. You need some pliers, ratchet with a 17 millimeter socket. Recommend you to get a deep one, and then a torque wrench. You guys can rent these out at your local parts store. All right, so yeah. let's get right to it. Man, este verga echando mecánica con chaca. bien pendejo. All right, so first thing you can do is grab a pliers, take off this uh, hose clamp right here. There you go. All right, so after you get your hose clamp off, you want to grab the actual hose from the end with your pliers and then just give it a couple of turns so it breaks loose, breaks the seal. After that, you can just go ahead and pull it out. There you go. And then here's where your PCV valve is. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right there. All right, I forgot to mention this, but you're also going to need a small little extension like this. Sheesh. This is a little tight. Oh, yeah, I should have, huh? Try to right. get it. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to go ahead and take it off. And as you guys can see, this is pretty, pretty dirty. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. And then here's the new one. I mean, the old one. Compared to the new one. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully that fixes my issue. I'll let you guys know. Keep you guys updated in my next video. Let's not forget about the washer. Go ahead, pop it on. Go. All right. Once it's hand tight, you want to grab your torque wrench. You want to go ahead and torque that to 33 foot pounds. There we go. Make sure your hose isn't cracked as well. And if you can. 
take off the intake manifold and then just inspect the hose and stuff. All right, so now we pop the hose back in, grab our pliers, squeeze the hose clamp, just slide it back into place. Jose, tu leche, ya la probé. Cuando te veniste en mi boca, por última vez. Mm, Alright guys, so as you guys can see, that's how you replace the PCB valve. Pretty simple to do. Pretty sure anyone can do this. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and keep checking up on our oil uh, every week, week and a half. And hopefully that fixes the issue with my oil consumption. If you guys found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you guys aren't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe down below. If you hate it, dislike it. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do your thing. Do whatever you want. Do your thing, bro. Anyways, this brings me to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Till next time, peace out guys.